my name is Ms. Janofsky, and I am incredibly excited to welcome you to our eighth grade virtual show. As we all know, this year has been filled with many challenges and new adventures. While we would typically perform a play for you on a big stage, this evening it'll be a bit different. About two months ago, the eighth grade students made the decision to write, direct, and act in their own play. Uh, this play would allow for them to be flexible for both in-person and virtual learners. Together, they collaborated to give you what you will see tonight. But before they begin, I would love to introduce you to the eighth grade theater students behind their masks. We sure do miss seeing their smiles. Enjoy! to skyrocket and if you need some enthusiastic people on here or you're fired. Don't worry, by the end of the day I'll have you some people who will get you the best reviews in years. Okay, that's what I like to hear. So, what do we got? I'm gonna lose my job. And we're on in three, two, one, action. And this is, is Jade. Thank you for joining us from the comfort of your own home. Tonight we are not only in the U.S., but all over the world. Before we get into the drama, the heartbreak, the love shed, we need to explain some basic rules. Each contestant has at least one opportunity to speak with the Bachelorette. Each contestant can only talk to the Bachelorette or each other on set. We don't want to miss some great footage. Only one contestant can take home the Bachelorette, so good luck. Or just date somebody else. Hi, I'm Violet Evergarden. I've come all the way from NYU to this show to seek love. I've been looking for my special someone for a couple of years, but to no avail. Becoming a renowned visual artist is one of my biggest dreams, as I've been studying art theater for the last couple of years. I also enjoy gardening, long walks on the beach, and speaking out about world problems. Hopefully I can find someone dear to my heart that understands me for the person I am. Is this thing on? Oh, oh. Hey guys, I'm so excited to be here. I'm Haley Peterson. I'm 19 years old. I'm a Virginia girl. I just to come here today because, well, everyone's here to find love, right? <laughs> I have a lot of hobbies, which gives me a hard time finding love by myself. So I really love the idea of the show because it's a new and easy way to find love. I am so, so, so... Introductions aren't really my thing. Since I have to, I will. My name is Richard R. Richardson, or Rich, Rich, Rich. I usually don't like competing for things because I take what I want. Some people like to call me narcissistic, and to that I say, you're just mad because of the unbelievable Brooks I pull and my Chad-like structure. What's that? You want me to talk more about my hobbies? All right, I got you. Be rich, get chicks, and be a god amongst men. Anywho, less about you and more about me. Wait, wait, bring the camera back. Sign your faces. I'm Bartholomew. I love making jokes with my online study friends. Yeah, so great. I just gotta do their homework first. Yeah, I won the New York Comic Con Crossplay Award, and the director just wanted to invite me. My mom tells me I should go on the show to meet my showmates. I just want to meet somebody I can spend the best of my life with. Hey, I'm Anja. My favorite color is magenta, and my favorite song is somebody that I used to know. By day, I'm a hard-working college student, but by night, I like to write sappy romance novels. I'm a very genuine and honest person. If I don't like you, I'll tell you, because I hate fake people. Anyway, um, I don't usually do stuff like this, 
but I'm a very spontaneous person and decided to come on the show to find a serious relationship. Unfortunately, one of our last contestants could not make it on set today due to COVID-19. However, thanks to technology, here's Olive Jacobs. Hi y'all, my name is Olive Jacobs. I was born in Lexington, Kentucky. My birthday is July 27th, and I have one sibling, only way we don't know the gender yet, so it'll be a surprise. Um, my cousin is Ariana Grande. She's my mother's sister's daughter, and uh, she's amazing. <laughs> Bruno Mars is a great family friend. My dad is his manager, so I'm very well off. Um, we have a big house with two Teslas, six Lamborghinis, three Porsches, two Mercedes, four Jaguars, and a gold plate Veyron. We have two Huskies and a golden retriever. In this segment, we will hear all about the highs and lows of the lives of our fabulous contestants. This will give Val the opportunity to decide which contestant she would like to move on to the next round. Question one. What are you looking for in a partner? Haley, how about you go first? I'm looking for someone that isn't afraid to adventure and like go outdoors with me. And I would love for us to start a couple's YouTube channel. <laughs> I'm interested in someone who would also enjoy anime. I hope they would respect my intense schedule as a homework buddy. Maybe even they would want to solve some problems, too. I'm looking for someone that's loyal and plays the guitar. They always have to be available to talk or text first, preferably. They can't be too outgoing, though. I can't have anyone outshine me. Question two. What's a deal breaker to you? Well, I personally like... Uh, uh, Rick, it's, it's your turn. Someone who likes uh, dogs but not cats, all right? They have to have a lot of money, and they have to be a good singer, dancer, artist, and uh, they can't be too clingy. Must, must, must take a good selfie. The perfect selfie is not an easy one. Thank you. How about you, Olive? Maybe we can go to the country club my parents own, and maybe go golfing, or play around of tennis. I am open-minded. Violet should have a pretty good idea of who she wants to move on to the next round. But now, we have to go to commercial break, so stay tuned, folks. And cut. Let's take a quick five minute break. This is getting ridiculous. Why are there so many commercial breaks this year? Relax. Try donut. Hey, Violet, you're about to make a big decision. Let's talk about it. So what are your thoughts on who you're going to let go? I haven't really found that spark with anyone yet. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about Olive or Bartholomew. Then let's talk about them. I don't know. Olive seems like she has too much for me, and that's not really part of my lifestyle. And Bartholomew isn't really my type, but he's so sweet. If that's not part of your lifestyle, that's a very big deal breaker. So I think that should be the route you go. At the end of the day, it's your decision. Okay, I know my decision. Welcome to the first elimination. Five contestants stand for love. Only four will remain. Out of the five of you, four of you have somehow made the cut. After one of you, however, maybe download a dating app, um, buy a cat. Violet, do you have any final words to your contestants before the elimination? Well, I just want to say thank you all for coming to the show to meet me. And to my contestants, Richie, I really love your enthusiasm, and you are so fun to listen to. Thank you, thank you, and please, hold me Rich. Haley, I watch your TikToks all the time, and you never fail to make me laugh. Bartholomew, I really think you let your friends take advantage of you. Yet again, you are so considerate. And Andra, I'm really loving your entire vibe. And last, but Olive. I'm really sorry people take advantage of your material possessions, but I really see that you're a good person. But I'm really sorry that I'm going to have to let you go. Okay, Violet, is this the person that you are definite to go? Yes. I there we have it, that. ladies and gentlemen. The drama, the drama, and the more drama. This is a dating show to remember, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Levy Marowitz, and this is Date. And we are back, but you may notice that we're not in our studio anymore. We're here at Springfield Mall in
in Greenville County. All of our contestants have been tasked with finding the perfect gift for Violet. Hello and welcome to Springfield. My name is Jamie and I'm here to help you assist to where you see fit. And I'm Pam. I'll be your guide. On the left side of the store, you'll find a Macy's, Yankee Candle, American Eagle, and Hot Topic. And on the right side of the store, you'll find a box lunch, Big Uncle Jimmy's flag store, and an apple store. We, we wish, wish you, you happy shopping. shopping. All of our contestants have also been given- A hundred dollars. Let's go. So Violet, what do you think our lovely contestants are getting you? They're all so unique. I'll be happy with whatever they get me. So do you think this can make or break your decision to keep somebody? I do. I think it'll be interesting to see what they think will make me happy. Little do they know, I love homemade gifts. But like I said, I'll be happy with whatever they get me. Hmm, I don't know what I should get. Oh, I saw something really popular on TikTok where you got your partner like an oil painting. Hmm. Do you really think that's a good idea? Wait, you don't think that's a good idea? Not really, but good luck though. I'm sorry, sir, but we don't sell that here. Oh my goodness. There's nothing good enough here. I, I just want her to be impressed, you know? It, there's no Balan, there's no Prada, there's no Gucci. Sir? You know what, you're right. I, I just need to calm down. Let me, let me check my phone. Bitcoin dropped 0.3%? What were all those computers for? Is everyone okay over here? It sounds like someone's having a break. It's fine. He's fine. <laughs> In just two more minutes, the gifts will be revealed. We'll be back. Stay tuned. I see you on TV. What do you think you're trying to do? Don't even think about lying. I can see where you are. It's live TV. Why don't you respond to any of my calls or texts? Hello, everyone. We are back, and it is now time to fake, fake. To fake. And now all of our contestants have gotten their gifts on the table, and now it is time for the Bachelorette to get them out. Okay, you need to stop cutting me off or I will actually be alive! Violet! Looks like you've been over selection here. So, what are your thoughts? Wow, are these Pokemon cards? I used to collect these when I was a kid. Hey, yeah, yeah, open them up, see if they're any good. Oh wow, I've Ooh. never seen this one before. Wait! It's a hard part of Mewtwo! This is the last one I need in my collection! Oh wow! Um, I guess I'll have to dig up Miles' collection. So, Bartholomew, what are your thoughts on your gift for Violet? I'm really happy she liked my gift. It really is a good gift for Violet. But once I saw that card, that's the very last one I need! So what are you going to do, Bartholomew? I don't know, but I need that card. Yeah. Well, my little Bart, are you being a gentleman just how me and Papa raised you? Yes, but Mommy, this isn't a good time. I'm in a time. No phones on set. Are you trying to push me away? I'm sorry. It's just like that sometimes. Great! Let's see what else we have. Uh, five pound gummy bear. Um, seems kind of cool, but... Chocolate is my favorite, but you cannot go wrong with the gummy every once in a while. How sweet! Don't you just want to eat that right up? <laughs> Wait, is that a 24 karat product diamond ring? Yeah, yeah it is. Uh, I'm uh, going to give that to our shop attendant Pam for some authenticity check. I was under the impression they were more than $100. Oh, gee, is this a Hector Caffieri oil painting? Thank you so much, Andra. This is so incredibly thankful. How did you know? Wow, guess. Are you kidding me? Wow. So, you seen the little tip Andra got that oil you did to me. What was that about? Well, I asked Andra for advice, and I originally shared with her that I was gonna get an oil painting. And then she tells me that it's not a good idea, but then gets one herself? So, yeah, I'm a little tick. That shouldn't be allowed. I see. I'm telling Violet about this, darn I think there is no reason why she should be falling for a liar. Wow, Violet, you have a lot of thoughtful gifts here. However, one person must still go over. Violet, you have a big decision to make. Abby, Canada has called. They're complaining that the live stream is lagging. The United States is ahead in live tweets by five minutes. What should we do? What do 
I know. Ask the, the camera lady. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's the internet? Thanks for the help. Not. Violet, how are you feeling? You look overwhelmed. Can we offer you any support right now? I, I think I just need a few minutes. Thanks. I told you she was fine. She would look fine. Hey, yeah, that's a really cool thing. I know, right? Listen, I know I'm just the camera lady, but I can tell you're a little stressed out. I just, I feel like this is all happening so fast, and I'm not getting to really know anyone, but just seeing a group of people just one-up each other. Welcome to reality TV. Why do you think I stay behind the camera? <laughs> Want to switch jobs? <laughs> Welcome back. And also, we did an authenticity check on our 24 karat Prada ring. It was not that. It was actually a ring from a Kellogg's cereal box, so take that as you will. <laughs> well, Violet, who will you be sending home? Well, I think all of the gifts are incredible and really thought out. However, there was one gift that caught me off guard, which was the giant gummy bear. Haley, I think you're adorable and would be so fun to hang out with. But we aren't really similar and therefore not compatible. Ha! <laughs> Haley, uh, you might be missed. So, how do you feel? I mean, it was just a game. Um, Andra got what she wanted. I just hope that Violet sees right through that front that she puts on. <laughs> So, Richie, what you bring on your day with Violet and what are you hoping to achieve? It's Richie Rich, thank you very much. And I bought food from a very private chef. A forced course meal with steaks and caviar. She's going to love it. Uh, I don't really care what I achieve, I just want to boost my modeling career and uh, get some people to invest in more stocks. I'm so excited for this fourth course meal. This is made by a private chef. OMG, you have a private chef? So cool. Yeah, I can't really say their name here, but it runs in short and Gansey. Hello folks, tis me, Gordon Ramsay. Today's spread includes a delicious soup all the way from Paris. Our lamb was made fresh this afternoon. And the breadsticks. OMG, I didn't know you knew the Gordon Ramsay. Well duh. Aren't these such lovely flowers? Eh, yeah, they're good for picking, but I'm not really into that nature stuff. So, should we start to eat now? Everything looks so good. <laughs> sure. No! Mm, mm, mm. Oh my god, this is... Do you want some? Um, no thank you. It looks like you're loving it. Can I get you more lamb? Oh, please. And make it fast. Yes, Mr. Richard. Richard. Are you sure you don't want any? It was made by a private chef, you know. I know, and it looks so appealing, but I'll stick with my soup. Fine. So, tell me, Violet, why did you bring me this far? Do you, do you really think it could be a match? Well, do you? Uh, not exactly. He is super cute, but I can't tell if he's taking this serious or just playing a game. I have dated people like him in my past, and things have always gone south. I, I just don't know. Well, Bob, we have a visitor who wanted to call in to speak with you. Meet Richie's past girlfriend. You need to run. Run as fast as you can. He is T-O-X-I-C. Don't let him manipulate you with his big brands and name because he lies. Wait, what? Why should I trust you? Well, just you wait and see. I mean, yeah, maybe. Do you eat like this every day? Do you want to eat like this every day? Where's my waitress and... Where's my wall towel? Do I have to do everything around here? Folks, you great meal. Uh, yeah, a little much. Keep your head up, you're doing great. Where are the batteries? That's my cue. Hi, Riley. A really big germaphobe, and there seems to be a lot of germs in the shrimp. Do you mind if I spray them with it? Yeah, that'd 
that sounds like a great idea. Also, I wrote to the song since I've shown you. Ow, I'm back to home, you! Why would you do that? You got it in my eyes! It's the water! Someone, my eyes, they're, they're burning! It's the water! Is there not to disturb you? Yes, it's a water salad! I, I, what is your, I, I can't see it! I can't see it! I can't see it! I can't see it! Can you see it? it? But the views! He's clearly suffering! Oh, the state is over! We can now have somebody die on live TV. We aren't actually live. We let the viewers think we're live. We can edit that. Welcome to reality TV. You're fired. Hey, Violet. How are you feeling? I hate this show. I should have never come on. This entire week has been awful. You can talk to us. You know that. No, you both try to twist my mind, and my mind needs no more twisting. We're here for you. For goodness sake, please, leave me alone. Here, maybe there's some, uh... Doesn't anyone understand needing space? We need to start recording. That's my job. I fired you. She's hurting. Why are we acting as if nothing is going on? Just good content. <laughs> hey, uh, should I start? I'll go get her. Doesn't anyone get it? She doesn't want to be bothered by you. I can't take this anymore. I quit. Find a new camera lady. Where are you going? I can't take this anymore. You were hurt, and the cast member was genuinely hurting and no one cared. It must be harsh watching it all go down in the little screen. You should know, you were the one in front of the camera. I cannot believe I thought I'd find true love on this show. This may sound crazy, but you were the first genuinely sane person on this show. You're a cool person, Violet. You think? I mean, running off stage, potentially ruining your contract? Yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> I know this may sound crazy, but I have one more dinner left scheduled, and I'm starving. I would love for you to join me. Are you kidding? I can't go back in there. I quit. Let them judge us. What on earth is this? Shouldn't you be behind the camera? I told you, I quit. I'm hungry. I invited her for lunch. For once, just let us be. Somebody come film this! I got Hello folks, and we're back with an odd twist of events, and it's that none of our contestants were right for Violet. Not only has she surprised us all, but she has also taken one of our employees. It's the drama. The drama. The drama. Violet, any final words? Reality TV sucks. Our views have skyrocketed. They're the highest they've ever been. We need more of this. Are you Chase? I need to talk to you. Wait, is that Marvin, the head of the network? Hi, Miss Chase. I'd like to personally come down and celebrate your success. Who would have thought a twist this big would turn our entire network around? We need more of this. What do you have in next for us? Mm, I, I really... More drama! <laughs> Thank you, sir. We will not let you down. Ah. This one boy is a keeper. Team Jade and Team Lemmy have been training for the past two Marvin, thank you, bud. You have 24 hours to keep this going. 